Hello and welcome to another edition of ExpressionWeb.us. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is showing you how to make a drop-down menu using JavaScript. Uh, if you'll remember from our previous video, uh, we had showed you how to build a uh, drop-down menu just using CSS and HTML and this is what the website looked like afterward. You know, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a pretty basic menu. But um, some people, um, they didn't like this gap here um, when you're not rolling over. So, like, you're not rolling over. Uh, some people didn't like this space in here, this space right in here, this gap, as they call it. And what they really wanted was a, a menu box that would pop out over, like this would be pushed up, and then the menu box would pop over the top of whatever graphics or text you had here. So some people didn't like this gap here. And one of the ways we know to do that, to get around that, get rid of this gap and not have this uh, in the way, these lists are actually in the way, um, is to use JavaScript. So what we're going to do today is show you how to build a site that hopefully should end up looking like this. So. Um, so see the difference where the box pops over the whatever you have or there's no gap here right the box just pops out over and uh, unfortunately or for better or worse uh, you need JavaScript to be able to do that now it's not as uh, intimidating as it might seem but this is what we plan to have you end up with is uh, should look pretty much like this. Of course you can tweak it again to your purposes but this is what we hope to finally end up with. So um, without any uh, further ado let's uh, get started um, going into uh, Expression Web. What we do is go to site, new site. I'm going to do a template site as always. can't remember which one it was uh, that we liked. I think, uh, let's see here. Oh, it was this one. We were going to do this one. So this one is just uh, drop-down menus, number seven. It doesn't really matter. This is just the name of the folder where the website's going to go. So there it is. It builds it for you. Now, um, for this site, remember, we always work out of the master DWT template. Any changes that we make here will carry over to all the other pages. Um, so this is a is a great time saver. If you don't have a template, uh, a DWT dynamic web template, you're really making a lot of extra work for yourself. Um, let's go into split view here real fast. Um, check our link here. Um, you see that we're linking to the style sheet number two, which if you come over here into styles, that means we're linking to this style sheet. There's two other style sheets, but we're not linking to those. We're only linking to this one. Actually, there's four style sheets. I take that back. Um, but it's only linking to this one. So um, so what we're going to do is um, we want to get rid of this, right? So um, what we do is let's just go into the code view, actually, at this point. And you look through the code. And remember, we're on the master uh, dynamic web template where it says begin navigation and in navigation here. Uh, we're just going to highlight all of this and delete it. So you just, uh, you know, delete it. There it goes. We're going to leave a little space. This is very similar to how we did the last uh, tutorial on uh, using the uh, CSS and HTML uh, menu, drop down menu. Now what we did was we, we found this site we have no affiliation with this uh, site, uh, but this guy's done a really nice job. Uh, he has here a simple drop-down menu, and uh, we're going to apply this to the template and see what we end up with. Uh, he's got the HTML code, he's got the CSS code, and he's got the JavaScript code. And um, what's uh, what's neat about this is that um, all he asks is that you put a link back uh, on one of your pages to his website here. So he's basically giving this to you for free. Um, and here it is up here. It shows you how it works, right? So all you got to do is put a link back somewhere on one of your pages, and it's yours to do whatever you want with. So that's I think that we think that's a pretty good, pretty good deal. So uh, so here we go. So this is the HTML code we just 
swapped out our navigation. So what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight this, all this code, and uh, right click, copy, and go back into uh, Expression Web, and we're going to cut and paste our code right in there, just like that. There it is. Okay, it's almost too easy. <laughs> it's almost too easy. So we go yes. So now uh, you remember um, we linked. Uh, we were linked to the Styles Two Sheet. So now we're going to come over here to the Style Two Sheet. Open that up, and we're going to come all the way down to the bottom because we're going to put in some new code here. Now uh, one little thing I like to do is uh, I like to copy and paste a lot. There's no point in uh, retyping a lot of stuff. So let's just highlight this where it says Styles for Footer. This is just a comment tag here and we copy it, paste it down here, go paste and what we're going to do is we're just going to put in, this is going to be the styles for um, the drop down menu, right? Just like that. Okay, and then we're going to go beneath that, drop the cursor beneath that. Going to go back to that uh, JavaScript array site and we're going to cut and paste our um, CSS code here. Now the thing to note is that the colors in here will all need to change to match your template. So all this code um, here is making it look like this with these colors. So you'll have to change these and I'll, we'll show you an easy way to do that. Um, but this needs, the colors in this code will need to be changed in all these background colors and this and that and you can you can adjust it any way you want but right now we're just gonna highlight it and we're gonna right click copy go back into expression web and paste it right right there where we a little spot there we got that all done there now let's go take a look at what we've got now remember um, let's go back to split view here remember we can't um, we can't uh, preview in the master DWT, so we need to go to the default page. So if we go to the default page, whoop, there we go, default, and if we hit um, F12, let's see what we got so far. Um, it always gives you this warning saying that uh, it can't run anything, so allowed um, block content, that's okay. And there you can see is our um, our menu bar, you notice it's not in the right spot yet, we gotta move it. Um, he actually has this as an absolutely positioned uh, div, so we can just drag this to where we want it. And since we don't have the JavaScript in there yet, it doesn't, uh, there's no drop down boxes yet. So the only two things we have left to do at this point is just scoot this over and, uh, and then add the JavaScript, and then we'll get our drop down boxes. So let's um, get right into that.